Hey guys, Carrie Gardner here with Synergistic Effects. Today's movement of the day are the TRX T Fly Y Flies. This exercise is an upper body um, back exercise. We're really going to be talking about scapular thoracic um, mobilization and engagement. So, today, what we're focusing on when we're going to the T motion, we're working on bringing our shoulder blades together, and that's called scapular retraction. When we're going up into our Y position, we're working on scapular depression and retraction at the same time, which means bringing those tips of our, of our shoulder blades down, back, and together. So, we want to keep that in mind when we're moving into this exercise. This is excellent to help stabilize the shoulder, especially for those overhead athletes. It's utmost importance to be in control of what your scapular thoracic joint is doing. It's the foundation for the kinetic chain of your upper extremity of your arms. So let's get started. We're going to talk about our, our TRX mount. It is going to be in this lengthened position. I have it kind of mid range. Um, the bottom of the foot cradles are about like just below my knees for this. Um, I like to have it a little bit more shortened position, especially when you're starting out with this. We want to talk about the TRX should never go into a seesaw pattern while you're using it. And also we want to maintain good long strap tension on it throughout this exercise and the range of motion. As anytime we're starting an exercise, we want to think about our foundation. Our legs are going to be um, directly underneath us with our hips and a good engagement. Pelvic floor is engaged, abs are engaged. We're going to lean back, arms are straight, Next, we're going to recruit our shoulder blades to pinch together to help pull us up. I am still leaning back right now. If I lean forward, the looping occurs in the strap. So I am still leaning back so that I have that maintaining that tension. Then I'm controlling my way back down that eccentric load. Next, I'm going up into the Y. Now I'm pulling the shoulder blades down and back together. We're going back down nice and controlled. So we've got that T fly and that Y fly. Again, shoulder blades come together for the T fly, nice and controlled, up into the Y fly. Keep those glutes nice and tight, your abs nice and tight. You don't want to see a rib cage flare. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this exercise. It's definitely something different for you to throw into your exercise routine. Scapular thoracic engagement is so important. It's the foundation of the kinetic chain of your upper extremity. So for my overhead athletes, my throwers, my tennis players, um, it's really important that you get good control over the action of the scapular thoracic joint. So your shoulder blades, how they're gliding, be able to recruit them when you want to and be able to hold them in that stabilized pattern so that you are safe and you can help protect the rotator cuff through explosive sport performance, throwing the deceleration and acceleration that goes on during a fast pitch, for instance. Um, it's a huge amount of stress that's applied on that joint and how we counteract that is our ability to slow our arm down and that comes from the scapular thoracic joint. So I am hoping that this is helpful to you guys, especially with my overhead athletes. Um, please subscribe to Synergistic Effects if you haven't before. Um, we'd love to have you follow our page on Instagram and YouTube as well as uh, Facebook. I put out a movement of the day Monday through Friday. You can get that workout um, challenge of the week on Saturdays on Instagram and Facebook. Please leave me comments, guys. I'd love to know other things that you're interested in learning from me. I'm happy to, you know, really cater this to you guys. This channel is about you guys learning, and I'd love to be there with you in the journey. All right, guys, take care. Bye.